from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Two stage top stirrers. So why did line staff union members of the Bahamas Fallen Light Company stage a demonstration and give management an ultimatum? They say it's a number of issues. Unilateral changes to employee medical benefits. Unilateral changes to job descriptions and variations of working conditions. The people are working on engines by themselves in the middle of nowhere. Sleeping no in toilet. The- Oh, Sleep in their car. Mm-hmm. Have to relieve themselves in, in bushes. That's bush. Union President Kyle Wilson. They're giving management two weeks to deal with the issues or face what they call the wrath of the union. Management has released a statement rejecting those claims called yesterday's action illegal. Police dealing with what looks like the latest murder here in the capital. The body of a man found off Prince Charles Drive early yesterday morning. He appeared to have stab wounds. Police are not sure who he is. They're trying to identify him and trying to find out who stabbed him. This is the fourth murder here in the capital since Thursday. That's keeping police investigators busy. Meantime, police have completed another murder investigation. This one dates back to late February. 18-year-old Audrey Colbrook arraigned in connection with the death of Andrew Medius back on February 22nd. This is news break from the Tribune News Network. Police looking into a suspected drowning incident here in the capital. The body of a man found in waters off Victoria Avenue. No identity yet. Police say the man is in his late 30s or early 40s. Another 43 confirmed coronavirus cases for the country reported for Sunday. Spread over four islands, 29 in the capital, 11 in Bimini and Cat Key, 2 in Grand Bahama, 1 in Abaco. 38 persons in hospital, 5 now in the ICU. Another death confirmed, a 79-year-old New Providence man is the latest victim. The total is now 246. The third named storm of the hurricane season developed off the east coast of the U.S. yesterday. It was called Danny, didn't last long before making landfall in the Carolinas. Forecasters also watching a system off the coast of Africa, which now has a 40% chance of development. It'll be the weekend before they know what this is likely to do. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. Low pressure in the area generating some related weather. Mostly cloudy, showers could be around, highs in the upper 80s. 87 at Freeport, 88 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet. Low tide now, the next high around noon. Mostly cloudy skies expected tonight, showers could be around, lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We are now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to complete your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Do you want to increase your sales? Then advertise your business in the Tribune, the leading newspaper in circulation. Reach the market that will keep your registers ringing. Give your business the maximum exposure at an affordable investment. Advertise in our Home Buyer's Guide, Insight, Women, or Obituary sections. Let us help you get your business to the Bahamas and to the world with our online advertising spots. Professional advertising reps are waiting to offer you advertising packages to suit your budget. And consultations are free. The Tribune, your answer to increased sales. Call our sales department today, 502-2394, or visit us on Shirley Street. The Tribune, the people's paper, biggest and best. Tuesday's World News headlines. The World Health Organization again issuing a warning about the dangers of the Delta variant of the coronavirus. It's causing surges in Israel, Australia, and other countries, and it's forcing governments to put some restrictions back in place. The death toll from the Florida condo collapse is now 11. There are still 150 persons unaccounted for. Rescue efforts continue there, but hope is fading that anyone will be found alive. Attention now turning to why did this happen. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 509, SO 507, Rubis $5, one cent per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Good night for DeAndre Aiden in the NBA playoffs last night. 
double-double in Game 5 against the Clippers, but the Suns lost that game. They still lead the series 3-2. to two. Plenty of pictures of our track and field stars at the Nationals over the weekend here in the Capitol. It's in the Tribune Sports. Get the latest on the Olympic Games qualifying and a new national record for Serena Brown. Wimbledon is here. The championships in England back with some fans. And get the latest on Major League Baseball and the Euro 2020 soccer tournament heading for a climax in Europe this weekend. For all your sports details, check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. <laughs> 